Hey guys, long time no see, I know. That's why I wanted to come on and make this video. I thought it was well overdue um, since I haven't really been making a lot of videos this summer. Um, so I just wanted to come on and actually just touch base with you guys and, and let you know what's going on in my world. Um, <laughs> It's been a rough summer. It's been a lot. And everybody, I, I listen, I know we all have like tons of things going on. We're all very busy. Um, and that is partially why I've been, you know, MIA. Um, but also because I feel like I have kind of lost my way in the hobby, so to speak, somewhat. Um, so I wanted to just kind of have an, an honest conversation with you guys just to let you know what's happening, to kind of fill you in and, and let you know where I, where things are headed for me. Because I've done a lot of pondering over the summer. I've had time to kind of sit back and, you know, reflect on some things. And yeah, so I'll start off by saying that I've had a lot going on in my personal life, just as we all do. I mean, it's it's quite typical that we all have things going on and summers tend to be busy for all of us. Um, we have a number of projects going on inside our house, <laughs> outside our house. We still have things going on outside our house. I think we're almost done with the inside portion of what we've been doing. Um, and summers tend to be mostly when we do the updates to our home um, and just have tons of things happening all at once. And so that has like had my life feeling like it's in upheaval mode. Um, I'm an OCD person, so that element of control when it leaves me, especially over my home, it, it's, it's, it's a struggle for me. And it's been a struggle for me this summer, for sure. I also still have my youngest daughter that's staying with us since she's moved back from Mexico. Um, so having her in the space with me and in the house with me on a regular basis has also been a huge adjustment for me. I won't lie, I'm used to having a lot of quiet time to myself, to enjoy the hobby, to enjoy, you know, just my own time, <laughs> you know, if I don't wanna be doing anything. And so it's been an adjustment having her more regularly in, you know, my surrounding area on a regular basis. So it leaves a little bit less time for, you know, doing dolly things because I've been spending more time with her and spending more time, you know, doing family things, right? So that's been, you know, a huge element of where I've been at all summer, especially, you know, towards dolls. And I apologize because Rue is gonna circle around and around and growl as she finds the most comfortable spot. <laughs> so I apologize, she does that. And um, we also, um, we're, we're now down to just one, one pet in our household and that would be Rue. Um, so we've lost our oldest um, dog recently. So just a lot going on. Um, they're not all bad things, of course, and I'm not coming on to say, oh, poor me, please, please do not take it as that. It's more of just keeping you guys in the loop of where I'm at because, you know, even when I have had time and could make a video, I just haven't felt the need. I feel like I've somewhat lost my way in the hobby um, due to being busy, but also I, I'm, to be completely honest with you, I've seen less that I'm interested in. And when I, when I say, what I mean by that is that I find that, you know, there's less artists putting out regular work that I would normally be interested in, um, such as like Claire Taylor, Romy Stride. I'm like, there, these are, those are my artists that are go-to for me that I really enjoy seeing new work from them. And it's been a really long time since I've seen an addition doll from Claire. Although she did mention in her most recent video that she, is releasing a new edition and i don't know whether it's an edition doll or if it's going to be a kit or if it's going to be a taylor doll studio doll i don't really know because she didn't elaborate so i'm really looking forward to that so that that really made me feel really happy to hear that she might be releasing something new soon um romy stridum also haven't seen anything from her and so i've seen this change in the hobby in what's being produced and available now. So I'm seeing that there's a shift 
towards producing kits and then having artists reborn them, paint them, finish them and sell them. But they're still kits. They're not, you know, what's being thought of, sculpted, poured, and then finished by one artist. I'm seeing less and less of that and I it kind of discourages me. It kind of makes me feel sad because I'm wondering if that's where, you know, the hobby is headed, you know, overall for silicone dolls specifically. Um, and yes, I love Reborns, but I'm, you guys know that I'm, I'm definitely more of a silicone collector overall. It's just what, where my heart is at. It's the experience of it. It's just, it's my go-to. Um, so I think the shift in what I'm seeing put out and available at this time, and it's been kind of leaning towards that for a while now, has also got me a bit down about the hobby. And, um, and, the, and I'm not to say that there's anything wrong with, you know, purchasing and having painted a kit. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just telling you that my preference is and probably will always be that I like to have a finished dowel by one artist created and finished all in one. It's my preference. Um, it's also for purposes of like longevity for the quality that you're paying for and knowing that it's, you know, going to stand the test of time. That's going to stand up to the wear and tear of being held and changed on a regular basis. So there's that element of unknown um, to, you know, buying a kit that's painted by a different artist. You know, how long will the paint last? Like, are they durable? Like all of these questions that kind of circle around in my brain um, that would cause me concern um, with hesitation to buy, I suppose is the best way to, to explain that. Um, and we won't know, you know, what the longevity is um, and durability is of a lot of the kits for some time, you know, until people, until we see over time how they last. And so it's just got me kind of pondering, where am I headed in this hobby? Am I, am I done buying? Um, because as it stands right now, I'm not interested in really seeking out and buying anything currently. Um, I haven't seen anything that's really caught my eye. And so it kind of makes me worry that, you know, I'm losing the oomph, <laughs> if you will, for the hobby. And I, it makes me sad to think that way, but it's me being honest with you guys, um, I don't, I don't know where I'm headed. I, I have ups and downs and I have the urge to make a video or do a change of video or, you know, get Monroe out. And Monroe is actually behind the camera. She is in my office with me. Um, I've had her in here since we did, we started working on the front room, um, which we repainted and had some, a bunch of work done. So we always have things going on. It's never a dull moment in my household. Um, so I've, I've kept her in here because her nursery is off of that front room. So that's why I wanted to keep her in here. There'd be, you know, people coming and going in my house and she's safely tucked away in my office. And that's the way I like it. Safe and sound. So she's here. She's not going anywhere. Um, it's just finding the urge to want to come back and start making videos again and finding the... Um, the <laughs> feeling the magic again. In the, in the moment I... I you know, pick her up and hold her. I do. I feel, I feel all of those wonderful things, but I still am like, you know, the social media aspect, um, can be quite tiring at times. And yeah, I'm just evaluating how, how present I want to be on social media. And part of it is that people steal your pictures. Your, they try to use your your photos and identity uh, in, in it's just frustrating. And I keep hearing about that happening with my accounts. Um, I'm never on Facebook. However, there are multiple profiles using my, my pictures, <laughs> using Monroe's pictures. Um, it's just quite frustrating. And I haven't shared much at all on Facebook, to be honest with you, for the same reasons. I'm just kind of, once once those things occur, they, they really wear me down and I get just kind of like, ugh, feeling about it. Like, is it worth sharing? And it just makes me reevaluate where things are at. 
And I know that I have talked about this. I have ebbs and flows. We all have ebbs and flows of like how we feel about the hobby, where we're going, what we want to continue to do. And I really do want to continue to put out content for you guys, especially on YouTube. But it's been a struggle. It's been a little different this year than any other time I've had kind of the ups and downs and not wanting to play dolls or whatever. Um, so I'm trying to find my way back. Um, all that to say that I'm trying very, very hard to find my way back so that I can continue making videos for you guys and continue enjoying the hobby and yet still staying true to what makes me happy. And um, I don't know what the future of my collecting looks like. I really don't. And that's, you know, it kind of makes me a little sad too <laughs> because I had in mind of like, I really would like to have, you know, purchase another silicone doll. I just don't know when and when and if that will be. Um, because I have a lot of hesitations of buying a doll that's a, you know, a kit that's been painted by, you know, the kits created by one artist and then the dolls painted and finished by a different artist. Um, Cause I worry about, again, the durability. So I don't know what the future will bring for another doll. Um, maybe it'll be another reborn. I don't know. I, I go up and down with that as well. I'm, I'm never sure as much as I enjoy reborns, they're usually short lived. Um, because for me, really, the silicones are where it's at for me. It's, you know, I've, I've tried to like bring back and have reborns in my collection. But then I'm still focused and always want to put my time and effort into Monroe because it's the full body silicone experience. It's, it's just the interaction. It just feels more real. And no matter how well weighted a, a reborn, a vinyl reborn is, it's just never going to feel real to me because it's still vinyl. It doesn't have the feel of a living baby like silicone does. And so that matters to me. I found over time that, that matters to me. Um, if I'm going to invest a lot of money in a doll, I want it, I want to be able to interact with the doll and hold the doll and want to have that kind of experience. And so I don't want to spend money on a doll that's just going to sit and occasionally be looked at. To me, that's just such a waste of that, you know, talent and that art to just sit there. I want to, I want to, I want to want to interact, I guess is, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hopefully this is making sense. But I know we all struggle from time to time. And, you know, I've also struggled over the years. I've talked about it numerous times over my, you know, social media journey during my collecting years. But this just feels different. And I don't, and I, I hope it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not going to want to make videos anymore or share. Um, I can enjoy Monroe privately. I can enjoy any doll I have privately, but I do love the element of being able to share with everybody out there. Um, but I also want to stay relevant. I also don't want to just come on to make a video just to make a video either. It's that's just not me. I'm, it's just, I'll never be a YouTube creator that just comes on to make a video because I feel the necessity to make a video. It's why I never did a membership because I just, I can't be held to that. Um, and I'm not consistent enough to be able to do that because if I'm not feeling, I'm not coming on and making a video, y'all. It's just how I am. Um, I have to have my heart in it. <laughs> but anyways, I am trying to um, get back to my normal and it's just taking a bit longer than I think it, I expected. Um, but I'm going to try to get there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Share your thoughts. Uh, I know that people do reach out to me because when I go MIA, people worry that I'm just not going to create anymore. And here's the thing. If I stop making content, guys, I'm not going to be like, I'm announcing I'm leaving. I am never going to be that type of collector that will come on and be like, just so you know, I'm leaving and announcing it. If I choose not to make any more videos or if I choose not to share on social media, I just don't share and I just don't make videos um, because I don't need to announce it. I think you guys would get the gist if I just didn't make videos <laughs> anymore that I decided not to do it any longer. Um, it's just, I know some people think it's courteous 
and courtesy to let people know, but like, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. I might do a post if I were to ever fully leave, but I don't, I don't, I really don't think that I'm going to fully leave at this point. I just think that the break was necessary, um, because a lot of just personal things going on and my time restraints and work and just everything. Um, but hopefully I'll get back to it. I just, but I did want to at least come on and share what's going on with me. And that way you guys kind of know where I'm at with things. I do have like a ton of topics that I, that I had lined up for summertime to talk about with you guys. I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And I'm not going to come on and waste your time <laughs> with a boring video. So hopefully I'll be getting the urge back to kind of come back more regularly and want to share Monroe. Um, but yeah, I just, it's been a rough summer, guys. It's been a rough summer. I know that it's not just me that this is happening with. I know that I've had some, you know, a couple of my friends going through similar things. And I think just in general, as a longtime collector for as many years as I've been doing this, like life just gets in the way. I think we find that, you know, we get busy. Life gets in the way. We have bigger things to worry about than dolls at times. And so it's only natural that there's going to be those ebbs and flows during those time periods. So I think that I'm just trying to take it in stride and not get too stressed out about it because I'm not really stressed out about it. Actually, I just want to make sure I'm, you know, at least letting y'all know what's going on, I suppose. And hopefully as the weather starts to turn, because it already has started, sadly, this, this summer went by very quickly, even though it feels like it also dragged on. Uh, I don't know if that, if that makes sense, but it does. It feels like it's dragged on, yet it feels like it's gone in a flash. But hopefully once the weather turns and it's a little colder, I'm less likely to want to be outside and we finish up some of these projects at our house, um, then I'll be getting back to doing more normal dolly things. And in the interim, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are bringing home all the beautiful babies. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys find this to be helpful to kind of get an update of where I'm at with things. But until the next time I see you guys, I hope you all enjoy your work week and we will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.